As our cities and populations grow, so does our need for sustainable, clean energy. And as our cities rise higher and expand further, they offer less sun exposure and more chaotic winds. But current technologies fail to harness energy within these environments. But what if we could harness this untapped resource to generate the energy we need? What if we had the technology to deliver a greener, more sustainable future tailored to the urban environment? O-Wind is the first truly omnidirectional wind turbine, allowing it to harness winds from any direction. With 80% of all energy being consumed in urban areas, Owen's unique bladeless design allows for the generation of clean electricity in the areas of the greatest energy consumption. Owen's omnidirectional capabilities provide the solution to harnessing powerful yet chaotic winds found in towns and cities, being the first turbine to harness both horizontal and vertical flows. Owen is built on years of award-winning development and innovation having won the James Dyson Award for Innovation in 2018 and seven other relevant awards globally. All wind turbines in the market so far have focused on efficiency, but the, those wind turbines need very steady wind at a very steady direction and wind speed. With these buildings in urban settings, you get not only horizontal wind, but also vertical wind and diagonal. That means no wind turbine so far is, is able to actually generate in that scenario. The wind turbine can actually take wind from horizontal direction, vertically as well, and diagonally, wherever the wind comes from. We want the wind to be in cities. We want to be able to give people living in cities, which is more than half of the population in the world right now, the possibility to generate their own electricity, to be engaged with technology and to be engaged with reducing carbon and make a contribution to the environment. It's said all the time that for us to, to solve the, the problems of global warming, it needs to be a global effort. We see the value of this technology not just through its ability to provide clean energy for the local community, but also through its ability to engage and communicate and educate. Millions of people will be seeing them, and we want to use that opportunity to communicate a story. We now have a minimum viable product that we're piloting and we're testing. So the roadmap for us is kind of taking us now through the design for manufacture, which actually takes us up to the point of commercialization. The design for manufacture covers a kind of array of different areas. Materials, what is the best material for this, both from a sustainability standpoint, you know, end of life, recyclability, and kind of the manufacturing process. Could it be 3D printed? Is it injection molding? and also the establishment of a partner that, that can answer these questions for us. But also the kind of uh, expansion, extension of the team. We want to bring in expertise and, and new individuals who can really make a difference to help get this technology out there. ICO Wind is part of an overall grid. The power system that we have in the UK is at capacity and things like electric vehicles, although fantastic towards net zero, are putting a lot of pressure on the power grid. So we've got to start thinking differently. Smart cities is not just about technology and data. It's also about people and living and lives and net zero. So the future for cities and for urban places is microgrids. It's a matter of combining different technologies and Owind is, is a key point of that for cities because it's very difficult to disrupt the present energy systems in cities beyond the power grid. Owind has the potential to do that. I've got over cool, 30 years experience in the international energy utilities marketplace. The application space of the technology in urban environments is really attractive. You can use it to increase the, the sustainability characteristics of inner city areas. And I think it's that novelty which is going to be its, its, its pull factor in the market. There is no golden ticket when it comes to counteracting climate change. The only solution is one that involves everyone. We believe that in making green energy production more accessible, people will feel encouraged to take on a bigger role in the conservation of our planet.